Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to select and edit vector data in different ways. Please load the project Select and Edit Vector Data. We see we have a project with a height map and uh, some vectors on it. If we move to the Vector Data tab, the Vector Tree, we see we have a river. If we select it, it will highlight in white and some skycrapers. In the vector 3 we see also a number 7. That means that there are 7 uh, skycrapers and 3 lines that uh, form that river. We can sub-select each one by clicking here. So if we click on the river now we select just one of the lines that form that river. You can see it's highlighted in red. And we can even like sub-select in points in case we want to edit it with the transform tool. We can move them, we can move, we can rotate, etc. Transform tools are placed on the top menu bar. Once you are done with your transformation, just press escape and you will release the transform tools and get back the selection tool. Let's move to the sky Crappers vector group. We will select just a few in element mode and move them around with our transform tool. Shortcut is T. You can duplicate them by clicking Ctrl D, like here, or here, duplicate Ctrl D. So we are adding more sky croppers. And you can also use the context menu, just clicking the right mouse button and it will come that panel that uh, where you can choose list mode or element mode. If you want to add elements to your selection you just click shift and select uh, in the viewport or in the vector tree. See the little plus icon near the pointer? And for the selecting just click control. See the minus icon now? Once selected in that mode, we can go to element mode and we can access both vector lists from there. Let's generate it. Okay, Ctrl G to access the 3D view. And here we see our river and the sky croppers. If you don't see them, just click on zoom selected. Having some vector selected, it will zoom to that particular vector. And by clicking the show vector data in 3D view, you can edit direct your vectors in the 3D view. For example, now we can move in element mode or sky croppers. Press F6 and you will see the new position there. F6 is the shortcut for um, show selected vector. F4 will hide the selected vectors. While that WYSIWYG mode, any vector that we uh, transform will be shown twice in the viewport. One with the original position and another, another one with the new position. To visualize only the new position, just generate it. And here we go. So that's all for today. See you next time.